Hey, this is Joe Alessi, director of the Congressional Op Challenge. Today I'm talking to Michael May. Mike is a teacher at the Macomb Mathematics, Science and Technology Center in Warren, Michigan, which is located in Michigan's 9th district. And last year he had 31 students uh, participate in the Congressional App Challenge. We're gonna to talk to Mike today about how he had so many students get involved in last year's Congressional App Challenge and how you can do the same for this year. Hi, I'm Mike May. I, uh, I teach uh, IDS, Interdisciplinary Studies, over at uh, MMSTC. It's a magnet school, Math Science Technology Center in Warren, Michigan. Um, I heard about it from my principal. She, um, she must have gotten an email from our local rep, I believe, or someone who works with our rep. And, and, um, and they were basically saying, we would really love, we've signed up for this. We'd really love uh, to get some students involved. So she forwarded it on to me and she said, is this something that would fit with, the, with our class? Um, and, it, and it would. Um, so we decided to uh, incorporate it as part of our, our class last fall. We used it initially as a way to encourage them while they were going through some other coding. So their intro to coding is what they were working on. Um, and we threw that idea out there that this was an application that they could use this for. Um, and so after feedback from the kids, we saw that there was uh, a good deal who were genuinely interested in, um, in saying, you know, how can I do this? And um, so, so what I did is, is I made it a component of the course for those who were really gung-ho on their own um, they chose to work solo so that they were entirely responsible for their project um, sometimes it was a solo project sometimes it was two and then the ones who maybe weren't as excited about it were able to work in a group of four um, so it still wasn't overwhelming for them um, but it, it worked out really well because the kids who wanted to dive into it were able to I had an overwhelming number participate because it, it ended up being a requirement that I integrated into my curriculum. So I already do in, uh, introduction to programming um, in which they're programming with JavaScript. Um, and so when the chat, when I was made aware of the challenge, it was easy for me to say, I'm going to change the project that I normally would do with them um, and basically go along with the requirements for them to submit um, in the app challenge program. So I just simply adjusted curriculum and, and changed one of my project-based learnings into participating in the challenge. The lesson that I run incorporates, um, you know, a free online learning program, code.org. So that explores JavaScript um, and then essentially it takes care of the HTML programming side of it. So it doesn't make you have to be a master in coding. Um, it lets you understand the process, understand what's going on, and then utilize code.org to uh, guide you through the user interface, which goes along with the app challenge. So. For me as an educator, it was a real life application to what I'm teaching them. It, it, it let them see, um, all right, so I've, I've learned how to code. I know the basics of coding. What can I do with it? And um, how could it be used? So it let them say, well, I want something that's cute and fun, that's entertaining, or I want something that's potentially world changing. They, they had that, you know, they, it was wide open in terms of um, what which avenue they could pursue to go down. For what collectively, after we reflected on it, when it was all said and done, the majority of them loved the fact that they were competing with other kids their age, and it wasn't competing with their classmates anymore, because they do that every day. You know, inherently they're competing with each other, you know, over grades and recognition. Um, but this was a chance to say, I'm competing with all of the kids um, in my district, and, and if I do well enough, I'm competing potentially against, you know, across the country. So they really liked um, the waiting for the results. You know, I had kids telling me, 
Um, did you get the email, Mr. May? You know, did you get the email that they're going to announce it? You know, and so they were they were obviously engaged in it um, and and excited about the fact that they were going to get um, to compete with people, you know, all across, um, you know, a large chunk of our county, you know, and potentially, you know, the state, the country. Um, I would say, you know, give it a shot. You know, it's um, it's fun. It's fun for the teacher because you you get to see what all of these kids are going to potentially create when you give them the chance to to have the freedom to create what they choose. Um, you know, it's it's open ended um, in terms of what they're going to use, what language they're going to program with, what is the purpose, um, what you know, what is the function. So it just really it fits into what we're trying to to get the kids to do anyway, um, and then. On a side note, it opens them up to, to something that's coming, you know, uh, from our country, from our government, to say um, this is something I can be engaged in. Our kids, when when Rep. Levin came, um, were overwhelmed, you know, that when he came and visited, um, and the fact that somebody from our our national government was there to recognize what they did, uh, it was just awesome. From an educator standpoint, it was so awesome to see.